Well, folks, there was a lot of excitement coming down on the train this morning. We was held up by bandits. A great big bandit pushed his pistol in my face and said, Hold up your hands, young man. I'm going to rob every man and kiss every woman on this here train. Now the conductor was a likely sort of a young feller, and he says, Now look -a here, Mr. Bandit. You might rob us men, but you can't kiss our women. And a great big fat old maid in the back of the car jumped up and says, Sit down there, you blame sap. That's a real man a robbing this here train. Well, when I got to the city, I was as hungry as a bear. And I could have licked the sweat off a restaurant window. And I went into one of them newfangled cafes and stuck my head in the door. I believe the doggone place was run by the men religious forward movement because I saw scripture on the wall all under the bill of fare. I saw one sign that says, Ham and eggs today, ten cents. Right under that it said, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. I saw another sign that says, Try our hash today, ten cents. Right under that it said, Forgive them, Lord, they know not what they do. So I says to a young lady standing there, do you serve lobsters here? She says, yes, sit down. So I sat down and I says to a young woman, have your frog legs? Said, no, rheumatism makes me walk this way. I says, how's your rabbits today? Said, they're pretty good. How's yours? I said, young lady, bring me an order of eggs. Brought them eggs in and set them on the table. I didn't like the looks of them eggs. And I says to a young woman, is these eggs fresh? She says they ought to be. I just laid them there. Well, I didn't like the looks of them eggs. And I told her to go and get me an order of chicken. While she went to get the chicken, I saw a nice young married couple. But not to one another. That old gal eat everything on the bill of fare from turkey down to ham. And the tears of con chicken was trickling down her alabaster brow and she was breathing like a bellus in the blacksmith shop. And that old guy had a tufa stuck up in his face and he was looking at her like a dying calf in a hailstorm. And he says, darling, shall I order a coupe? She says, no, dear, I couldn't eat another thing. I started out the door, and the young lady who takes the money says to me, where in the world did you come from? I told her I come from Lick Skillet, Alabama, where chicken tastes like chicken and gals don't smell like talcum powder. And Suzanne and myself, we had a lovely time of trotting around that day. And I went down to a music store to get some records. She had a self-player down to her house. And I went down there and enjoyed myself immensely. And she had on a peaky blue shirtwaist with a thousand holes. I took that shirtwaist off of her, put it on the electric piano, and the darn thing played Linger Near to My Heart.